Okay, so now I want to show you how you can use the ZDSP uh, and with numbers um, to try programs and hear them in real time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take numbers, I'm going to plug in a cartridge. Now it doesn't matter if there's programs on the cartridge or not. In this case, in this example, this is a blank cartridge. Um, use the ZDSP. Right now we have a sound um, coming in and if I put it on the way wet, there's no effect so we don't hear anything and I'm just going to plug it in. Now here's the important thing. When you plug in numbers into the ZDSP, you need to flip it. That means that the cartridge is on the bottom side and you can see the little print say this side up. And just like this, you're going to plug it in. Okay. Now that we're in, I'm going to open file in the spin assembler and I'm just going to open the same reverb we used before. Uh, as an example, hit open, we see the program again, and as soon as I'm going to hit the A, as in for the assembly, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to download the program into the cartridge on numbers, and it's going to tell the ZDSP to load the program from the cartridge, so you will hear actually how it happens. So here I hit it, right in, and here you go. You can hear the sound immediately, and that's the reverb we had before. Okay. Now, let's say I want to try a different program. I'm going to go on File, Open, and let's say I want to take um, Room Revert with Echo. I really have no idea what that will be, but let's try it. Open, and I'm going to hit Assemble. A different effect immediately. So you can try your effect right on the spot, it doesn't give you any um, delays and it's real time. And obviously what you can do now is go in here and change stuff and play with that um, and just always listen how it sounds with those changes that you just made. Very simple, very straightforward, nothing too complex.